Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube land. This is Clay of Clay's Chevy. And uh, I just got done watching HPI Guys Workshop do another review on uh, another Walking Dead kit. And because of him, I'm in trouble because I started buying a bunch of them. So uh, again, in one of the review, um, one of the videos I just shot, I, I showed I just picked this one up. So... I'm going to open it and put it together in front of you guys. Now this is, it's called the boiler room. It has Rick and a zombie and it's from the boiler room in the prison If for those of you who watch the show. It has 176 pieces so hopefully it won't take that long to build but we're talking about me. So it takes me months to build a snap kit. So I might run out of battery on this camera trying to film this. All right, so we got the box open. Step number one, all right. Yeah, like Chris said on his uh, review, these nice little Lego style uh, instruction books. It is really nice. It's got all these little goodie bags. And I have to agree with Chris that these are some exceptional pieces. I don't know if you can see that. Isn't that pretty neat? Then you look at some of these other pieces. Wow. Look at the boiler door. That's pretty neat. Yeah, oh, got the torso of the the zombie himself. some pieces and in this bag looks like we got some of the the wall sections that detail is really nice Chris is right yeah these kits are pricey but man the detail on these Look at this. Look at this pipe. See, we've, if enough of us guys start filming these, I bet we're going to get the Red Dragon started on these. Right, Gil? This is my kind of model. I don't have to paint it or nothing. Just put it together. Look at that. Look at that telephone on there. Probably just to be safe, I'd put all these little pieces in this box here. So I don't lose them all. Alright, and we're going to take a short time out while I open all these bags. You guys don't want to see me open bags. tiles they have a grain pattern on it 
and you basically have to match the grain pattern. It's pretty neat. So we're back at it. And one of the things I did last night, I don't know if I should show you, is but I actually went to, and I don't know if Dirk or or the HPI guy said it, but I actually went to his ledge in here and that actually went back and sorted out the pieces and put them in groups so they were easier to find. Okay, so I'm actually on step 15 and I'll keep building away. And here I go. get this kit here in step 46 it shows these pipes being put together let's see let's see if I can zoom in on here we're not there yet we're getting there she says with every child the whole community needs to have their back Donald did okay his mother so everyone else you would think that they're even at the bottom here so when they go into so we choose Donald Trump here, and all of the children who have come after him. They go into the two Aaron holes there. Well, they don't. Next week, this one is going to be shorter, the, the little one, okay? To it's going to be shorter, and it's going to be an open space. And if you look at the box art, let's see what I do with the box. Okay. If you look at the box art, uh, let's see, right here, there's a gap between the little pipe and the, the whatever you call it, you know, the hole in the floor, you know, the part that looks like this, you know, you got a little hole, so don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Uh, sorry guys, I had to plug the, the camera in because it was running out of juice. So, in case I wasn't clear, when you do step 46, there'll be one pipe, the, the smaller one, will be shorter than the bigger one. Don't worry about it, that's the way it's supposed to be. I guess that's it. I ended up with uh, five extra pieces. I don't know why. Maybe I missed a step. Don't think so. Everything looks like it's there. So, pretty neat. I'm going to take this camera down and I'll let you guys look at it. So, bear with me for a minute. All right, so there it is. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I would not consider this a completed model kit uh, <laughs> it's like the Spitfire and the mesh Schmidt I built last year and the Aerofix ones that were like Lego uh, 
and it's not a model to me but I enjoyed it and it's really neat looking I think um, so also you might want to watch uh, Dirk Pitt and uh, HPI guys workshop because they're building other kits of this McFarlane Walking Dead and now that I got this one done I may start on another one because this one probably I started last night and I worked on it for maybe half an hour and probably did it about an hour tonight you know I'm a little slow so not bad you know maybe two hours at the max I don't know so but I really enjoyed it so I think it's well worth it bye now